could say that Met Office scientist Dr. Adrian Locke has spent 20 years with his head in the clouds. But his research into the boundary layer, the clouds close to the Earth's surface, and their effect on forecasting has a very practical purpose. It has evolved. I, when I first started, I was working exclusively really on very fine scale numerical modelling of clouds themselves, just the clouds, so a small box of this, of the atmosphere. And over the years, I've gradually been trying to work to apply that more to the, the general weather forecast model. And so, yeah, it's, it's gone from the, the purer research side into the more applied side. So, yes, these are perfect conditions for seeing the boundary layer because we've got a nice layer of cloud marking the top of it. So the important things going on are, well, we can feel the wind mixing the air up and at the top of its um, mix uh, of the motions, it's forming cloud. And that cloud is sheltering us or shielding us from the, the sun's rays. So when, you go, when it goes behind a cloud, it's cooler. And it's to get these temperature contrasts right at the surface, which is where people live, it's important to get the cloud cover right. And that's the ultimate aim of, of a lot of the work we do. This year, his work has received one of the Met Office's most highly valued accolades for staff, the annual LG Groves Award. Oh, it's very, very pleasing and encouraging to be given this sort of recognition. Um, you, you know, we, we know, we work uh, all, our, all the time, our work is directed to try and improve the forecast and we say we're trying to improve the forecast to help aviation for example which is the main focus of this award but it's always good to be reminded actually that you really are trying to improve the forecast to help people who are flying aeroplanes or, or even just in their daily lives. The award is named after Sergeant Louis Grimble Groves, one of the RAF's experienced observers during the Second World War, who made aircraft sorties to gather vital meteorological data for Allied operations. He was killed towards the end of the war when his Halifax crashed into the Quantock Hills. His family instituted a number of prizes to be awarded in his memory. Oh, I'm very proud, yes. And, and if you look at the list of well, it's, it's Met Office staff win this award, and if you look at the list, and it's a very good list of the, the, the top researchers in the Met Office over the last, well, 30 years, like the ones I'm familiar with, but all the, the big names are there, so it's, it's fantastic to, be, to have your name added to that.